In the previous video, we were looking at a straddle. And you want to use a straddle when you think that the stock price is going to move a lot, but you don't know in which direction the stock price is going to move. And the example I gave is a company that, that has um, essentially bet the fortunes of the company on a new product. If the product's successful, the price of the stock will double, triple, quadruple. If the product is unsuccessful, the company could be bankrupt. So in this case, you buy a put and a call option with the same exercise price. And you get this, this uh, V shape. Okay, It looks like you're actually, if you flipped it over, if you sold a straddle or you wrote a straddle, it would look like you were straddling, you know, straddling a bar or something. And you have two break-even points, 67 and 93 here. The cost is rather expensive. It's $13 because it costs, in this example, $7 to buy the call and $6 to buy the put. And the question is, is there a cheaper way to do this? And actually there is. And let's, uh, let's take a look at something referred to as a strangle. In a strangle, we're going to do essentially the same thing, except in this case, instead of buying a put and a call with the same exercise price, we're going to buy puts and calls with different exercise prices. Now think about it. If we buy before we had an 80 strike price or exercise price, if we pick a put option with a lower exercise price, it's going to cost less. Remember, the put lets you sell at the exercise price, and therefore being able to sell somebody something for $75 isn't as good as being able to sell it to them for $80, so this is going to be cheaper. And so this is only going to be $4. And in the case of the call option, we pick a higher exercise price. Again, we had 80 before, we're picking 85 here. Remember that the call option lets you buy at the exercise price. And being able to buy at 80 is better than being able to buy at 85. So the 85 call is going to be cheaper. So let's take a look at what this looks like. All right, we're going to have a cost of $9, right? You have to buy the, the 75 put and the 85 call, but it works the same. If the price is above 85, the put isn't any, doesn't have any value, you just throw it away. So you're going to, going to use the call option. If the fall, price falls below 75, the call is not has no value, so you just throw it away and you use the put option. So in this case, instead of starting, starting $13 in the hole, you start $9 in the hole, right? Because that's your cost. And when the price of the stock is between 75 and 85, neither one of these is going to be used. The call isn't valuable because the stock price isn't high enough, and the put isn't valuable because the stock price isn't low enough. So in this case, you're going to have this straight line here between 75 and 85, and it's going to be at minus $9. I guess I should put a minus sign in there. All right, now, for every dollar it goes above 85, you're going to make a dollar. You're not going to lose anything on the put. You just throw that away, and that cost is already incorporated. So in this case, you're going to see this go upward, and it should have a slope of, of 1. And in the case of the price falling below 75, for every dollar it falls below 75, you'll make a dollar from the put. The call isn't worth anything. You'll just throw it away. So again, you'll get something that looks like this. And again, you get two break-even points. You'll get a break-even point here, and you'll get a break-even point here. Now remember, the stock price has to rise high enough in order to cover this $9 cost. So if the exercise price is 85, it's going to have to rise to 94. 
to break even. And likewise, the price of the stock is going to have to fall far enough so that you cover, again, this $9. So it has to fall by $9, so that would be $66 for the break-even point here. So you have two break-even points. Let me put an arrow here because there's no limit to how much money you can make on the upside because the stock price could go to anything. There is a limit to how much money you can make here, and that's because the worst the stock can do, or the best the stock can do in your case, is go to zero. So the most profit you can make is 66. So again, this is a, another interesting strategy using the same basic concepts as the straddle, except you're going to spread the exercise prices so that you have a lower cost. Again, remember, you're thinking that the price of the stock is going to triple or quadruple. So, you know, it doesn't matter that, you know, you can't start exercising this until 85. And if you think the price of the stock is going to go to zero if the company, you know, is unsuccessful with its new product, then, again, it doesn't matter that you can't start exercising this put option until it, ha it uh, hits a price of 75 or below. But in both cases, um, it works out. It's a very similar strategy to the straddle, but it has a much lower cost. And if you haven't seen my uh, tutorial on the... Um, the uh, spread, I'm sorry, the, um, the straddle, I encourage you to look at that before you watch this.